San Diego County sees its largest increase in COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. That total has now surpassed 1,000, with 1,112 cases now confirmed, 146 more than yesterday, although health officials say the actual number is much higher. One more local patient has died, bringing the death toll in the county to 17. The Sheriff's Department reports that four sheriff's employees and one inmate are among those who've tested positive for coronavirus. And effective tonight at midnight, essential workers who deal with the public, such as food service and grocery workers will be required to wear a mask or facial covering. It's not mandatory for the public, but county health officials, the city and the CDC strongly recommend you wear a facial covering if you leave home. News 8 viewers are contacting us wanting to know how they can protect themselves from the virus on packages delivered to their homes. As News 8's David Goffertson reports, there are some simple solutions that can help keep your family safe. Anything that you bring into your home that uh, you didn't have control over, you should probably uh, look at uh, carefully. How can you protect yourself from coronavirus on packages? The county's medical director of epidemiology offered some advice. I open my mail every day and uh, I'm able to look at it and throw away what I don't need and recycle some and uh, actually most. And, uh, uh, and then I wash my hands afterwards before I do something else. Do packages really pose a risk? We asked an infectious disease expert with Johns Hopkins Medicine. You know, it is possible for objects to get contaminated by virus from the hands of someone who just handed you an object. And how long can the virus live on paper and cardboard? We think that the virus can survive on the surfaces of packages and, and other objects for at least several hours so that if you do get an object delivered to the home or bring an object from outside the home into the home, you can try to disinfect it. Really? Disinfect your mail? What does that look like? Uh, some people are preparing sprays of common household disinfectants or even diluted bleach. Okay, I'm no expert, so what's the recipe? If you want to make the diluted bleach, the formula is four teaspoons of bleach in a quart of water. That seems easy enough. I found some bleach in the laundry room. One. Four teaspoons, one quart spray bottle. I sprayed the Amazon boxes on my back patio. They got wet, but it didn't take long for the packages to dry. You can do the same thing with the letters in your mailbox. And the mailbox too, for that matter. Okay, so I sprayed my mail down I got my puppy here and uh, weekend's coming and I feel good, but I can't, Carlo, stop thinking that we're just lucky to have a job. We're getting a lot of small business owners emailing us, calling us, saying they can't get the loans that have been promised by the government. So, Carlo, you and me are real lucky. I'm right there with you. I, uh, I can't imagine what it's like for people who are on the street right now and for those business owners who are struggling. Some of them are telling us too right now that the banks are actually making it kind of difficult for them to apply for those PPP loans, right? Exactly. We're going to be following up on that, but we're, get, we're, we're hearing that the credit uh, unions are turning them down and the big banks are only offering those loans to their existing customers. So some of the businesses that have their accounts with credit unions, they're just out of luck. So we're following up on that. We're, we're talking to the credit unions and we're gonna get a response. And uh, look, maybe next week we're gonna have uh, an investigation on that, if not this weekend. Well, part of it is because they don't qualify. They don't carry those SBA loans to begin with, correct? They don't have access to those funds. Exactly. The credit unions deal more in real estate loans. Uh, but uh, if you don't have an existing account with a big bank and you're a small business owner, then you're in trouble. That's rough. All right, David Gofferson, appreciate that thought too. We are lucky. Thanks.